really good to work with. And when he's got his coat on, he knows he's working and he's always looking to see who's got the biggest camera. All right, y'all, welcome back to Coming Arms Channel. All right, so today we're checking out an interesting video. This is going to be all about the British Army's regimental mascots. Now, here in the US military, we do have mascots, like the Marine Corps has the, the Bulldog as their mascot. And you'll see them floating around, but I think for the most part, there there's only like really like one or two. Um, I know our units did have a bulldog as a mascot, but it was kind of like a menace. It was, I think it was a Lance Corporal. I think I remember it got promoted at one point, and then I think it got demoted because it like crapped somewhere it wasn't supposed to. I don't know. It was just really, really weird. And I know in the Navy, they do like the whole billy goat thing. Now, I'm not too sure the lineage of all that, but I do know that those are traditions as far as like the mascots. But having them at a regimental level, especially having different ones, Sounds like a lot of work, to be honest. So, I mean, it's three and a half minutes long. I guess, yeah, we're gonna learn about the British Army's regimental mascots. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what to expect, but let's just jump right in. Okay. So we thought, how could we, um, how can we celebrate Her Majesty's Platinum Jubilee? So we come up with the brainwave, I have all Her Majesty's mascots here in Edinburgh, getting a nice photograph taken that we could get framed and put I like how they're trying to like force them into, into a good spot for the picture and whatnot. <laughs> they're just like not having any of it. I mean, not gonna lie, the dogs are kind of like chilling. I imagine they get pretty well trained and also pretty well treated. Probably better than like the, the human lo lower enlisted. That we could get framed <laughs> and present to Her Majesty. And I'm sure as an animal lover that she will thoroughly enjoy the photograph. Dude, My he's name like, is Corporal Flip Fawns. Dude, that dude is like squaring up. Look, it looks like he's about to freaking charge the dog or something. My name is Corporal Flip Fawnton and I'm the Ram Major. And alongside me is Private Joe Holmes, who is a Ram Orderly. And together we look after oh my the regimental God. mascot of the Mercy Regiment, who is Private Darby the 32nd. Pony Major Mark Wilkinson with me is Corporal Cook and the 4th Regimental Mascot of the Royal Regiment of Scotland. I'm Drummer Walsh. Um, okay, so we can see that some of these haven't persisted as long. We had the 32nd and then we had the the 4th for this one, for the Royal Regiment in Scotland. Okay. I'm Drummer Walsh um, from the 1st Battalion Irish Guards and I'm the mascot handler of uh, Turlock Moor or Seamus. There's always sort of something that <laughs> what goes a name. on, whether it be the, the famous pooping the colour at Ballot Up. My name's Sergeant Mark Jackson, I am the GOAT Major for the 3rd Battalion of the Royal Welsh. Oh my god. This young lad here, his name is Schenkin, he is Schenkin the 4th, he's our regimental mascot. We got Seamus. Not gonna lie, I think this one is like the most badass we've seen so far. It would be cool if those were like even more like pointed, because his name is Schenkin and it reminds me of like shanking, like with a knife. So let's just go ahead and turn these into blades and make him even more badass. We got Seamus uh, <laughs> November 2019 and he's been with us since then. Nibble of the flowers in Stirling Castle. Her Majesty loves to see him and I think she enjoys the, um, the banter um, of the jock in him. I am the Regimental Farrier Major oh for First Green Zoom Guards, Mark Holland, and this is Lance Corporal Emrys Forland Jones. My name's Lance Corporal Let's Jamie Corporal. Richards, and um, this is Pegasus Number Five, and he is our <laughs> Regimental Man. Oh, Peg Pegasus Number Five is that traditionally how you would say it? I mean, normally it's like the fifth, but <laughs> okay. Scott for the Pressure <laughs> Regiment. That's fine. Lance Corporal Jones is a Section A Welsh Martin Morland, a traditional little pony that is common within within Wales. Okay. Now Private Darby the 32nd became the regimental mascot of the Mercy nice Regiment on the 1st of September 2007 when the Mercy Regiment formed from three different regiments. Uh, when we have okay. a, a, an event on, I've heard about them. Then shower time, grooming time that take us roughly three and a half, four hours to get them to the standards you see today. Uh, we're also getting ready. Now for imagine the medals that they're actually wearing are like the medals that the unit is awarded because each unit probably like here in the US gets awarded their own specific unit award. So. Imagine, unless he did something like spectacular and, and earned an individual award. You see today. Uh, we're also getting ready for Troop into Colour and the Queen's Jubilee. Um, the Irish Guards have had a, a regiment of mascot, uh, I believe, since 1901. Okay. He is good. He is, he's really good to work with. And when he's got his coat on, he knows he's working and he's always looking to see who's got the biggest camera. Do I have the best job in the British Army? <laughs> I think ass. I do, yeah. Uh, a few lads would say they, they do, but I think I have the best job. Now, Derby does quite a lot of things, leading the that? battalions on freedom marches. He marches Derby County Football Club and he's been uh, on numerous uh, television. 
Yo, I'm not gonna lie. This private looks like he's not having any of it. He looks like he's hating his life. I don't know how to feel and I don't know how you get assigned to take care of like the regimental mascot. It's kind of cool, kind of important in a way, you know, keeping the mascot alive and well, but yeah, I, I don't know. It's not a job I would want personally. <laughs> uh, on numerous uh, television programs also. Him and I should retire February, 2029. He'll be retired, uh, together. Later, unfortunately, I will have to retire. What they've said is that I will keep him because they don't believe that anybody will be able to take him on. Because Aussie animals, when they miss their owners, they become depressed, they go off their feed. Oh, nice, so okay. So stay with me forever and a day. That's good, his, that's his awesome. His main role within the regiment is doing regimental duties, uh, regimental parades. You do anything in the working day. Dude, where are they? It looks like it's like super smoggy or it might just be the lighting, but I don't know what's going on here. So I know they're, they're prepping for the Platinum Jubilee, so I imagine this is maybe in like... Uh, London? <laughs> I don't even know. I know there was like a big ceremony, but I don't know if that was specifically located somewhere. Parades. You do anything in the working day together, weekends, we got the rugby matches together. Uh, oh he comes down to the pub with me sometimes, but uh, if he's lucky. Uh, he's a brilliant as a, as a little pony. Um, I, I'd say he's got great character. He's chill. Um, can be extremely cheeky, which all Section A's can be. Um, but as you can see today, <laughs> nice. all dressed up, ready to go, well behaved. I yeah. have the best He's job chilling. in the British Army, bar none. What a picture. I'm sure it's not too often that they get all the mascots together, but uh, okay, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this, to be honest. Now, of course, every unit will do things slightly different as far as how they're trying to tailor certain things to increase that morale and, and esprit de corps as they say, but yeah, mascots are a cool way. I, I know personally for me, when we did have like a unit mascot, I never saw the thing to be honest, except when I went to like the headquarters building and it was kind of just walking around. I don't know, it, it's cool, but I don't really think it helps so much with like the morale or esprit de corps. I know certain like things will happen, especially with like the Navy. I think it was the Navy, but they stole like the billy goats. I think West Point or something has their own mascots. I don't know, but you'll see this where they'll like, they'll steal mascots and whatnot. And you'll see this with other universities and colleges and stuff. Like when you start bringing that stuff into it, it's kind of cool, but hopefully they're not like traumatizing the animals too much. Yeah, this is cool. They're, they're definitely taking care of them. And I like how the one dude with uh, with Schenken or whatever, how he's going to retire with the animal. That's that's pretty awesome how they're doing that. But yeah, if they can keep that lineage going for a long time, I guess it is kind of cool to go back and, and look at the lineage, especially as like the handler, to go back and look at the handlers. Because it is like a, you know, a one in a million kind of job. But again, personally, I wouldn't want to be doing that. So I want to know what you guys think about this. If you guys have had a unit mascot or even like a university mascot, let me know how that went. If, you know, you guys actually benefited from it or if, you know, ended up turning into more of shenanigans than anything else. But yeah, I don't know. It's kind of cool. Obviously, the British Army doesn't have as many regiments as the U.S. military because obviously we have more population, more land density and everything. But yeah, actually being able to have a mascot for each regiment is, is kind of cool, I think. It's definitely unique. Uh, I kind of wonder what other militaries do the mascot thing. Because again, we do it here in the US a little bit. Um, not as much as the British Army. But I want to see if you guys have any experience from any other militaries where you have different mascots. Let me know what mascots you have. And also let me know what at what level they maintain that mascot. Because yeah, I can imagine if each like, battalion is running around with the mascots, you're just going to have like Jumanji where they're going to get loose and start brawling or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but cool video. Let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, of course, hit the thumbs up, comment, all that good stuff. But yeah, that is, uh, that is it for this video. I'll see you all in the next one.